Hey fellow back air boyers, Nick here. Now, I've been having some problems with my 15 pound cast iron anvil. As you can see it's really wobbly and not that stable. So today I'm going to show you how I built my first steel anvil. It's made from mild steel with a lumber base. I found this piece of scrap steel at the local steel yard and at 27 and a half inches long and 105 pounds it'll make a good vertical anvil. I cut this piece of wood to the same dimensions as the bottom of the piece of steel so that I can use it for laying out the stand. Now the bottom of the steel is really rough cut so I'm using a piece of horse stall matting so that it sits in the stand nicely. The base of the stand is made of four 2x4s that are 9 inches long. I mark the dimensions of the piece of steel and then apply glue to the surface of the boards. I glue one of the 13 inch side pieces on and once it's set I drill a pilot hole and then screw it to the base with a 3 inch deck screw. After the two inch end pieces are secured, I put on the next layer consisting of two nine inch end pieces and six inch side pieces. Once those are together, I put on the next layer and the rest of this stand will just be composed of the same layers repeating. Once I have three layers, I place the rubber bottom into the stand and then lower the piece of steel in. It takes a little bit of moving it around to get it in, but once it drops in, the steel is nice and solid. So you can see not much movement, even with only three pieces. Then I continue stacking up the different layers, making sure to alternate each layer. I ended up with 13 layers, including the base for a total height of 19 and a half inches. Now that the main body of the stand is built, I take a 19 and a half inch piece of 2x4 and glue it onto the side. I nail it in just to set it and then screw it into place with 3 inch deck screw. I repeat this until I have 10 legs. The spaces also make a nifty place to put my hammers. I attach a 2x6 and a 1x3 to each side of the bottom of the stand so that I have a nice and stable square base. Some 1x3s complete my tool rack. Now that the stand is completed, I use a 4 inch angle grinder to grind the surface of the steel flat. Now I'm trying to make sure that I have a nice, flat, even surface, so the first thing I do is just take out all the deep gouges and make a nice smooth surface. I use a piece of sandpaper on a sanding block to help show where the high spots are. That way I can go back and grind them down. I repeat this a few times until I'm happy with how level the surface is. Once I'm happy with how flat the surface of the anvil is, I start roughing in a radius onto one of the ends of the anvil. And I'll be using this kind of like the horn of the anvil for doing simple curves and straightening things up. And once that's finished, I take it up through the grits using sandpaper and then polishing wheels, finishing off at about a 600 grit. This leaves an almost mirror polish. I then use a wire brush to clean off some of the rust on the side of the anvil, and then lightly wipe it down with oil just to protect it. And here's the anvil all finished up. I hope you enjoyed building this anvil along with me today. And if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please leave a comment below. 
If you like this video, I have others like it on my channel, and I've also written several books on different topics, and you can check those out in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.